So now that we've been talking about sided figures, such as our prisms and our pyramids, let's now talk about our circles. So when you look at a circle, clearly the point that you would see in the middle would be point A, and that's going to be called the center. When you go from the center to halfway across, that's called the radius. But if I go all the way across the circle, that's called the diameter. It's really important that you understand the difference between the radius and the diameter and how to calculate them. So let's try one. If the radius is halfway and it's 3, how much would the diameter be? Well, you times it by 2 and you would get 6. Because if it halfway across is 3, the other half is 3, together that would make 6. If the radius was 10, so going halfway across was 10, if I go all the way across, what would I get? 20. Let's suppose I have the diameter, and I tell you the diameter is 14. Well, the diameter goes all the way across, what would the radius be? That would be half of it, so you'd get 7. If the diameter was 10, the radius would be 5. So now we've talked about going across the center. What about if we went all the way around it? Well, if it was a sided figure, the distance around would be called the perimeter. Since it's a circular shape, the distance around it is called the circumference. The circumference is the distance around the circle. And you would find that using circumference is 2 pi r or circumference equals pi d. So if I have a circle that has a radius of 4 inches, if I'm given the radius, I prefer to use this part of the formula, 2 pi r. That way you don't have to think about anything or calculate anything. I'm looking for the circumference, so I keep the 2. Pi, for pi, most times you're going to use 3.14. Pi is what happens if you actually took a string and measured the distance around a circle and then divide it by the distance across the circle. That's going to give you pi. In this case now, the radius is going to be 4. So I would do 2 times 3.14, which would be 6.28. And now I'll times that by 4. Well, if I put a 4 here, 8 times 4 is 32. 8 plus 3 is 11. 24 plus 1 is 25. 1, 2, 1, 2. So my answer is 25 and 12 hundredths, and that's going to be inches. It's not squared. It's not area. It's like perimeter. I only added inches plus inches. I didn't ever multiply them together. Now, if I had the same shape and I wanted to use pi d, I would simply have to change the diameter and I would calculate it, or I'm sorry, change the radius and calculate it as the diameter. So if the radius was 4, the diameter would have to be 8. Well, right here, if I had said 2 times 4, that would have given me the 8 anyways. So my answer is still 25 and 12 hundredth inches. I strongly suggest you use the formula based on whatever the question gives you. That way you won't forget to calculate. Don't try to think, oh, this one's easier, it only has two steps. Well, it's not easier if you accidentally plug in the radius. Then you're going to miss it.